you at Hancock's, I mean, you see an amazing amount of stunning jewellery. We do see a lot, but this is sort of a once in a lifetime find. We just opened a box not really knowing what was inside. I mean, what, what a wonderful surprise. It was, it spoke to us straight away. I mean, it's, it's so, it's such a vivacious jewel. Um, you can't help but be sort of stopped in your tracks. Vidura was very inspired by nature and his Sicilian backgrounds. And with the sea and the wonderful colours of nature. Yes. Jewellery's got to be worn, not, uh, not just looked at in a box. So. Oh, absolutely. Oh, look at that. It's when it comes to life. Oh, I mean, that is just superb. The beauty of this jewel is that you can wear it in a number of ways, which actually is very indicative of the 1950s. How would this have been worn originally? So originally, it's been designed to be worn as a fastener for sort of a cape. You'd have one on either side to sort of fasten. You can remove the swag so that the two flowers with the tassels can be worn separately or together. And then you can also remove the tassels so they can be worn just as the flower heads, which obviously makes it a lot less formal. You could wear it during the day and oh. then you can wear it in the evening when you put it all together. So that's you know, wonderful, it's so versatile. Fedora called this Devin de Corsage uh, Le Ferre de la Reine, which is the Queen's studs. And wh where did that come from? Um, it's a reference from the Three Musketeers, from the original story by Dumas. And that's so, such a, a reflection on Vidura himself, reading the history books, and, and there's that sort of quirkiness, that sort of, which is wonderful, which he's been able to translate into, into his jewels, into his jewellery designs. The list of his clients very much reflect his joie de vivre. Oh, absolutely. It reads like a who's who of European and Hollywood and New York high society. You see names like Picasso and Hemingway to Greta Garbo to Millicent Rogers to the Duchess of Windsor. The list is endless. So you've got the original receipt, haven't you, for this? Uh, we've got the copy of the original invoice from Vidura to the Rothschilds. I mean, they had quite a, a great relationship as well. There's sort of records of uh, they'd gone holiday together, very much part of the same society group. Um, their relationship went beyond jeweller and clients. They, they were friends. The next owner of this jewel is going to have a fabulous time wearing it. That's for sure. Certainly, yes. It's, it's been made to be worn and I, I really hope it does.